Good, I think now it's good afternoon for some. Uh, my name is Murat Kantarjoğlu. I'm a professor of computer science at the uh, University of Texas at Dallas. Uh, this is our rapid work uh, on uh, privacy risk assessment uh, for data sharing during pandemics with uh, Professor Brett Nall from Vanderbilt Medical School. Uh, so as, as many of you follow the news, as the COVID-19 progresses, there are new questions coming up uh, with respect to uh, whether it's related to race, whether smoking, for example, increases your risk with COVID-19, uh, bad outcomes, uh, etc. So therefore, in order to answer these kind of questions, whether it's a relationship of race and COVID-19 mortality or other factors such as smoking, high blood pressure, clearly we need to collect more data. And, and of course, this data needs to be analyzed. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, uh, the, or fortunately in some sense, the secrecy and privacy requirements may slow this attempt. If you look at this science article published in July, you would see that uh, California didn't uh, want to share, California state uh, officials didn't want to share the COVID-19 data details with some researchers, hindering some certain research. So in one sense, they're right because it's been known that uh, shared data can be easily re-identified. Uh, it's been shown in the past many years ago that if you combine different data sets, for example, if you have COVID-19 data that reports zip code, age, and gender, there is a high risk of linking this uh, with uh, voter registration lists and identify the uh, people who are in the COVID-19 patient data. And of course, uh, this has been known for a while, so it's a, uh, it's not a new problem. Uh, and understanding these risks has uh, been uh, active research over the past 20 years. But still, COVID-19 changed many things. One thing is that uh, now we have, uh, especially with the social media, we have different re-identification sources. Uh, this is an example from New York Times where they profiled many uh, patients who passed away due to COVID-19 in their life stories. So if you go back to this attack scenario, now you may have additional source where you know some people have passed away and their information and you can use it to remove the targets and rerun identification attacks. So therefore, this uh, rapid is really trying to understand the unique challenges due to pandemic uh, data sharing, especially re-identification risks. So one thing we realize is that unlike the past work, the attributes that are needed to be shared, uh, such as smoking or, uh, uh, or race can be changing over time. So we need to really understand that. Also case numbers are changing, which means that some privacy risks may be changing over time. So we need to really update the uh, privacy risks over time uh, as new data sources are uh, being uh, uh, shared with the others. So therefore this rapidly changing and uncertain uh, behavior of uh, pandemic data sharing impacts the, the risk assessment frameworks. And for that reason, we are now developing and updating existing models. So our goal is to really look into what's the best utility we can uh, achieve given the data privacy goals, which in this case, to make sure that re-identification risk is low. In other words, it's very hard to re-identify people. And also what's the best possible uh, privacy we can uh, provide given the data utility goals. And again, our goal is to give as accurate information as possible. The second option comes into play uh, because there is this argument that, uh, you know, uh, we should really focus on uh, combating the disease, so data privacy may be secondary. Still, our past research showed that given your goals with respect to data sharing, different alternatives may have different privacy outcomes, so understanding that would be important. Of course, a major direction would be what's the data utility and how to define it, and that's our ongoing research. To conclude, uh, we build our own past work on this uh, analyzing identification risk, and we uh, update and develop techniques uh, based on these unique challenges of time varying and changing information due to pandemic. 
And soon, hopefully, like in a month or so, we would uh, have a paper on giving general data sharing policies uh, to guide uh, the health officials, like what data can be shared with low risk, what, uh, what are the higher risk options and its impact. Uh, so please follow us if you have any concerns about the data sharing and privacy of pandemic data. So I'll stop here, I guess. Um, a little bit over time. Yeah. Thank you.